as long as everyone is muted, you'll be able to see me quite large. So I wanted to start this practice, this first releasing week of Yoga Shalom at home with a check-in of our bodies. And also, I want to give you an idea of the terminology I'm going to be using with the spirot, the energy centers of the body, which really correspond to the chakras in yoga, but they're a little bit different. Both yoga and mystical Judaism are, are, are very different, but they share a lot of characteristics. And so I found that I'm really enjoying learning more as I deepen my yoga training and practice about how they intersect. And I've been using Kabbalah or the Sphero Energy Centers for a while now in my Yoga Shalom practices. And those of you who study with me around the country and who are constantly writing, we need a new practice, we need more. So today we're going to be doing some new things. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to are your hands. So sit back and find a comfortable place, either in a chair or on your mat. I'm going to be shifting back and forth to my mat. And if you have a mat and you want to elevate your hips, you can do so with a blanket. I like to do that. So we're going to start just by energizing our hands a bit. Can find the energy in your hands and then release that energy because today is all about releasing. Remember, yoga is your home. Yoga is inside your body. Yoga is one of the eight branches. This yoga asana that we're doing is part of eight branches of yoga. And so we're going to do a couple of um, deepenings of the asana to help us understand better our prayer in, in yoga, our Jewish prayer in yoga. And these are connections that I've made over the last 30 years that I've been doing yoga and they just came naturally to me and they feel so organic and the more I study yoga the more I know how well they are connected so showing up is the first thing just bringing yourself into this moment this time and this space that's dedicated for you and your well-being one of the hardest things about bringing yourself into this moment is to disconnect from everything so Take a moment to put your phone on airplane mode. I don't want you going anywhere, going off, unless you have to use the restroom. You can turn your video off and move off. But if you don't, I invite you to just sit, find your space if you're on the mat, connect with your sit bones, and settle in today with absolutely no expectations of yourself. And try to let go of your expectations of me and what I'm going to offer. If something doesn't work for you, do something else. Listen to yourself. This is what today is all about. It's about releasing frustrations, anger, fear, anything that you don't need, and listening to what you do need. Those of you who practice or are practitioners of yoga know that it means union, so it means unification so we're trying to unify our minds our body spirits and sometimes monkey mind comes in so we're going to spend the first few moments of our practice trying to clear our minds of any unwanted thoughts and if they start jumping in bring your awareness back to your breath and then we're going to start to deepen our breath so i'm going to play a little background music. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to have us just spend a moment finding our breath, becoming aware of our bodies, bringing your awareness to your right arm. Your right arm in the tree of life and the spirit is loving kindness, chesed. So give your loving kindness a little massage. Just Bring that loving kindness right into your heart center and then lower your arms. Good. And your left arm has the energy of Gavura, which is strength. So just feel the strength in the left side of your body and then bring that into your heart center. We're going to be talking about that. Your heart, which is the balance of your Chesed and Gavura, is Tiferet. Give your heart a little massage. And allow yourself this hour to do nothing but devote yourself to 
your heart and your needs. Bringing your hands now to your belly, take a nice deep breath into your belly. Leave one hand on your heart. Fill your belly with air. We're going to be doing this in a moment. And then release it. Let go of anything that you're not needing. Feel your heart rise. Your head is over your heart, your heart over your hip, whether you're sitting or you're standing. So feel your heart rise and your belly expand. And release. And as you release, just release any negative emotions you might be holding. And then allow your hands to go down to your yesod, your energy center, your kishkis. This is where it all happens, folks. Give yourself a little massage when we're feeling stressed. What's the first thing that happens? We tighten up in our kishkas. So allow those to soften. Let those go. Good. Now bring your hand to your right leg and just massage a little the top of your leg. This right leg represents humility. Now yoga is filled with humility and whatever pose we're doing, you always have to be humble about Going slowly, listening to your body, no hurting, no doing. Yoga is more about undoing than it is about doing. So releasing that right leg to humility. We don't know it all. We can't do it all. We're learners. We're growers. We're, we're students of life. That's humility. And then bringing your hands back to your kishkas, softening, releasing. I'll bring your hand to your left leg. Your left leg represents endurance, Nesach. This is what we need to get through it, to endure all of the stuff that's going on in the world. Yes, we need strength. Yes, we need hope. Yes, we need confidence and we need, we need action. But we have to balance that with our humility. So bringing in balance our humility and our need for not knowing and our endurance, the need to know everything. These are in balance with chesed and gavura, tiferes, our kishkas. And finally, feel your feet connecting with the earth. This is Mother Earth. If you need to come a little bit forward on your chair like I do because I'm so short, do that. Your feet are also called shechina, Mother Earth. Feel them connect in with the earth. Feel the vibrations of the planet. Not so good right now, but as we breathe, we're going to be releasing good energy into the earth. And then finally, we have our head, which we're going to work with. And so touch your keter. This is your crown. Your keter represents malchut, which is our connection with Ein Sof, the unknowable, the, un, the, the power that we cannot control, because we sure know that we're not in control, don't we? So from the top of our keter and our machut, through our arms, chesed, gavura, tiferet, down to our yesod, our kishkas, our ethics, our morals, into our humility and our endurance, all the way down to Mother Earth, our feet, the shechina, machut and shechina being balanced together to bring balance to us, to bring balance through our midline. You're going to hear me a few times zip up the midline well this is our balance line so we're going to just balance that we're bringing our awareness now into our breath and we, before we go to the breath just one more point I want to make about our breath we're made up of mostly water our bodies are mostly water our blood is flowing and yet when we hold our breath we can almost feel like we're a frozen ice cube like an like a pack of ice that's frozen, a block of ice. You can feel that if you contract your arms in and hold your gut. So imagine for a moment if our breath is fluid and the ice cube melts. Everyone take a nice exhale and feel the ice melting. So when I say that we're going to experiment with the breath being like water and letting it flow. Literally, I mean, just let it flow. Don't feel like you're an ice block. Feel like you're flowing water, adding your energy into the river, into the the flowing river, the bubbling, energetic, free flowing river 
that is the energy of the world. And we're going to start talking a little bit about that. Can everyone still hear me okay? Okay. We're going to move now into deepening the breath. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put on a track from Yoga Shalom, which you can find on Spotify. And if you want to go through this practice, you'll be able to do that on your own. You won't be able to hear the track very loudly, but I will be able to hear it, which is important. Because I'm going to be guiding you. So inhale now. I want you to bring your shoulders up and then just release them naturally. Make sure that your head is above your heart, your heart above your hips. Inhaling, I want you to feel like your belly is filling like a glass. You can hold your hand on your belly if you want and your hand, other hand on your heart. So inhaling through your nose into your lower belly, lower lungs, and upper lungs as though you're filling a glass with water, remember? The melted ice block, fluid. You can gently move if you need to and now as you exhale through your mouth or your nose it doesn't matter feel the air releasing from your upper lungs lower lungs and belly and then draw the belly into the, the spine so really empty the breath empty 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 okay one more time inhaling lower belly lower lungs and upper lungs and we're going to call this a wave of breath and then exhaling, upper lungs, lower lungs, and belly. If you'd like to soften your gaze or close your eyes, I'll guide you through. So inhaling now. Breathe in to your lower belly. The breath, the breath of your being, of your self-knowing. And then as you exhale, try to release from the top of your lungs, release all your troubles, everything that you don't need today, release it all the way. Inhaling, breathing in your lower belly, lower lungs and upper lungs, know yourself and what it is that you need for today. And as you release, release the air like draining your glass of water from the top to the middle, and then completely empty your lungs. Inhaling deeply now. Breathe in your spirit. Breathe in your knowledge, your self-love. And breathe out. Breathe out the thoughts that are jumping into your mind. Swallow in your throat if you need to. Bring peace into your core, into your water, into your center, into your heart. And then releasing. The space that we're coming in today is our Mishkan. It's our holy place. Whether it's your mat or your office or your chair, envision this as a holy space that you can return to anytime you need to release that you need a little vinyasa, a little flow, that you need to unmelt your ice block. You can return to this with engaging your breath by inhaling and then giving a little sigh of release. Oh, yes, I don't need that anymore. Just releasing it. So if it's available to you and you can open your eyes to see me for a moment, we're going to add some motion to this breath and trying to sync up the waves of breath. So as we inhale, bring your arms out to the side. Stretch your fingers wide. Inhaling. Good. Now bend your knees and exhale and bring your, your palms to your Tiferet, your heart center balance. Just bend your head down a moment. Good. Inhaling, raise your arms up. 
palms facing each other, fingertips towards the sky, looking up if it's available, if not, head forward. And exhale, gently float your arms down. All the way down. Good, one more time. Inhale, bringing our arms up. Inhale. Releasing, palms together. Exhale. Then bowing. Arms up. Inhale. And one last release. Exhale. So the first prayer that we're going to embody in Yoga Shalom, I'm going to move to the mat in a moment, but this can be done sitting in a chair. Move back a little bit in your chair if you're sitting up. So move back and feel your spine against the back. If you're sitting down, pull up from your keter and down into your sit bone. Good. Bring your hands either to the palms down or palms up if you need a little bit more energy, but it might be good to have palms down just to start. So we're going to open our heart center, Nishama, Elohai Nishama Shinakatabi, the soul you have given me is pure. Inhaling, squeeze your shoulders all the way up. And as you exhale, roll your shoulders back, look up slightly, and then drop them all the way down. Good. One more time. Inhaling. Squeeze your shoulders up. Inhale. And as you exhale, roll them back and pretend like you're squeezing a pencil in your shoulder blade, looking up. And release. Good. We're going to do this one more time, and we're going to inhale a little bit more deeply. So inhale. Draw the shoulders up. Inhale. Three-part breath. Belly, lower lungs, upper lungs. And then as you release, release that air, upper lungs, middle lungs, lower belly. All the way back. And just drop your shoulders. Good. Now bring one arm up. I'm going to move to the mat right now. One arm all the way up. And draw one hand down to the mat. Inhale, reaching all the way up. And a gentle side twist over. If you're in your chair, you can do this in your chair, no problem. Coming back up, bringing both arms down. Now bring your right hand down to the mat and lift your left arm up. Your strength, your gavura. And then gently bring that over to the side. And feel that opening of your heart. Look up under your armpit. Come all the way up. Bring that arm down. One more time. Bring your your chesed, your loving kindness up. Inhaling and gently over. And now look just under and feel that stretch. If you can come all the way down or you want to put your elbow down, you can always go deeper and come up. And one more time. Hand all the way up. Strength. Coming all the way over, nice and gentle, being kind and giving yourself love. Coming all the way up. And this time we're going to bring both hands up, feeling the balance between Hesed and Gavora. Hands together, bringing them to heart center. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down. Shrug all the way up. Inhale, one last time, and open your heart. Open your heart. Elohai nishama shenatatabi teorai. Elohai nishama shenatatabi teorai. The soul you have given me, O oh God, is pure. Open my heart to blessing and release anything I don't need. Good. And if you're on the floor, switch the leg you have in front so we can balance out. If you're in a chair, you don't have to worry about it. So this is our psalm of praise for the morning. Bringing your attention from the world within and your neshama, your soul, your 
breath, nishima breath, nishama soul. So we're connecting with the deepest part of ourselves today. So we're going to just say a blessing of praise. Always good to appreciate the blessings in our lives. So we're going to do that today by bringing some energy into our body. And we're going to start, just draw a little circle with your nose. Draw a little circle with your nose and make it small. And then as you breathe and deepen your breath, make the circle bigger, draw a bigger circle. And in that circle, I want you to imagine your ble a blessing for the world. Nishmat kol chai, for every living thing, everything we're going through today, we send blessing. Now stop and go the other way and start with the little circle, because the circle always starts in our body. And then the little drop of water goes out to the edge of the lake and affects everyone. So then we're going to expand our circle. Go nice and slow. Take your time. And then place in that circle, imagine your blessing for our planet, our world, our society, our country, in such turmoil. What a blessing. Now we're going to stop and we're going to start stirring our body. So bringing that energy and that intention into our center. Go nice and slow and really stir. Feel like you're a spoon and you're stirring through sludge, engaging all of that ener energy. And then go the other direction and feel like you're engaging your energy in the other direction. Good. Now bring your hands up and bring all of that beautiful blessing into your heart. Let everything that has breath sing praises. One more time, all the way up, stretch the fingers up. Inhale and release and bring all that blessing into your heart. Beyond Bring all the praise and blessing and release and let it go. And now easily and gently bring yourself to standing. If you're not able to stand, that's fine. You can stay in a chair for the Barhu. Barhu is our acknowledgement of a higher power that's greater than us. We rise and we bless just as we did with the universe. Now, the universe blesses us. Yes, so we have to accept that blessing by being humble. And we do that with forward fold. So bring your feet wide, standing. And if you want to use your chair, you can. You can bend straight over your chair or go to the side. That's fine, too. But just follow the sound of my voice. If you're on the mat or in your room, just bring your feet apart. Take a nice big inhale. Feel your hands at the creases of your hips here. Inhale, stretch your keter, your crown, to the unknown, the beyond. And now hinge down through the creases of your hips and Stretch your head towards the opposite wall. And if you're in a chair, you can do this. Just stretch your head as though you're peering at yourself in the water of the lake that you don't want to fall in. And now gently allow your shoulders to drop. Let your head relax like a piece of fruit hanging on the vine. We're going to release control. And if I was in the room with you, I would go around and massage the back of your neck to make sure it was loose. So just nod your head, yes and no. And if you're sitting in a chair, you can just be folding forward, folding forward. You can even have your knees on your, your, your elbows on your knees. Just make sure you're dropping your head, letting go, letting God, breathing, releasing. And now with strength, step into your feet and roll up 
one vertebra at a time. Feeling the strength of the earth coming through your eighth spine, through the feet, all the way up your legs, your arms. So today we're going to create a sankalpa or an intention for our practice. We're going to either in a chair or through chair pose, create a kavana, a blessing for ourselves, not, not for the world. This is a very personal thing, a blessing for ourselves today. What is it that brought us to our mishkan? What brought us to our mat? Why are we here? What do we need to let go of? What do we need to hold close? And as we feel the breath moving through us like water, Feel your body releasing. So bringing feet hip distance apart, just talking. Inhaling, hinging back. Sit back in your chair. And if it, you're in your chair, you're already seated. Then bring your hands up and feel your intention or your kavana, your blessing for yourself in a big ball. Remember that ball that we drew with our noses? That ball is in front of us and that blessing is for ourselves. To hold the blessing, breathe, inhaling. If you want to go a little bit deeper, use your breath, ride the wave. Good, breathe, breathing will help you hold the posture and then step into your feet with strength, feeling your apchaim, your shekhinah. If you're in a chair, you're going to be at the edge of your chair holding your intention and then you'll drop your hands so then we're going to do one more version of this so inhaling hinging back into your chair bring hands to knees now bring your your gavura your strength up and behind you breathing and bring your chesed in front of you drop that bring this one back Stretch it out and come up. Good. And the other side, you have to balance. So hinging back. If you're in a chair, you're going to do this exact thing with your arm, bringing up your chesed, your loving kindness. Draw it all the way around you like a big circle of love. And stepping into your feet. Wow, wow. We will know that you are one. And hands at heart center. You can always bring your hands here or Anjali Mudra. And releasing. Good. Shake it out just a little bit. Of course, the watchword of our faith, the centerpiece of Jewish prayer is the Shema. So we're going to mold ourselves today into the shin, I want to bring your attention to the fact that you are the shin. Your head is the center valve. Your right arm is the side valve. Your left arm is the other side valve, shin. So we are the shema, bringing that embodiment into our awareness. We're going to mold ourselves into the aleph for Adonai, Eloheinu Adonai. In order to do that, we're going to do our triangle. So let's step our left foot out first and bring toes to the wall. And our right toes need to be in. Our hips for triangle are not perpendicular. They're flat. So we want to twist towards me, bend that front knee, and bring your arms out. Actually, you don't want to bend the front knee. You want to reach out. That's warrior. I'm, going, I'm getting ahead of myself. Inhale. Exhale, reach way out. If you need to bend the front knee, you can, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. And coming back. Right over that leg and then coming into triangle. Right hand extending up, left arm extending down. Finding your balance there for a moment. If you're in a chair, you're just going to use your arms. And you can bring your leg to the side or you can leave it here, whatever is available to you. So coming up now into your warrior, into triangle, reverse triangle. So bringing le right 
hand to the back thigh, left arm over. Breathe in. Good, reaching way out now, coming into triangle one more time, stretching way up. Breathing, riding the waves, using the waves of breath. And one last time, reverse triangle, right hand to right back thigh, left arm over. Good. And then coming straight to the other side now. So we want to bring our right toes towards the wall. Our left toes are slightly in. And then swivel your hips towards me. Nice and easy. If you're in the chair, just bring your arms out to the side and come straight over that standing leg, okay? And then come down into your triangle. You can picture yourself as an olive if you look at the screen. You can see me blending myself into olive. I don't know. Coming into reverse, the left hand on back, left thigh, right arm over. Knees are straight and lifted, engaged. Feel the strength in your ankles and your feet. All the way over to triangle one more time. If you can, gaze upward for a moment. Take a deep breath. Good. And coming back, bringing right arm over. Good. And now both arms up and hands at heart center. Bring toes together. Zip up. Zip your line up. Exhale on. Hum M. M and release. M. Release. Discover something new about yourself. Ah, release anything you don't need. Quiet yourself. Mm, discover and release. One more inhale. And bring your hands down. Staying standing now. Shortening our practice because we're already 40 minutes in. I talked too much at the beginning, but that's okay. We're going to, if you can stand, please do so. If you need to hold on to the chair or be behind it, come behind it but I'd like you to stand if you're able. If you're not, I understand. We're gonna repeat um, some of the breathing we did at the beginning except for standing now. This Amida Haranai Sifatitiftah Ufiya Gita Hilatecha is all about embodying those strong spirits in our life which bring us blessings. And maybe releasing some of that negative energy that we don't need. Maybe there's a voice in your head that's nagging you that you need to get rid of. You just don't need it anymore. So let's try to embody the Amida, our standing prayer, with some breathing, standing breathing. So inhaling once again, up. Raise the arms up. Bend the arms. Exhale. Bring the hands in very slowly and deliberately and bend your head. Inhale. This time, lock your hands. Inhale. And then exhale. All the way down. Good. Once again, inhale. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Bring your hands to midline. Zip it up. Bow your head. Inhale. Raise your arms and lock your hands together with fingertips. Pointed, and then release and float your hands all the way down. 
Great. Inhale and lift your right hand, your chesed arm. Feel that loving kindness coming into yourself. Inhale and now slight bend over to the left hand side. And draw the loving kindness into your heart. Good. Other side. Inhale up with Gavura, your strength, strengthening, coming into your left arm. And a slight bend over to the right side. Breathing, inhaling, bring that energy and that Gavura, that strength, all into your heart center. Good. And now both arms up into the shin. Chesed and Gavura. Lock your hands together, up on your toes three times, and then release, release your hips. Adonai, sefatai tiftach ufiagitai, and draw a force field around yourself, a protection of everything that you know that is good, that you want to keep. In your bubble, a force field of love and hands at Namaste. Inhale and And if you're standing now, you can go back to your chair or you can use the side of your chair. This is going to be great. We're going to be doing some cat and cows on the mat right now. If you're seated in your chair, you can do this exact. You can do just a couple of seated cat and cows. We're going to do this quickly and then go into some personal prayer. So coming to all fours, you can do that slowly if you want to. Tabletop, feel your yesod, your kishkas engaged, and stretch your head towards the wall. Keep your feet flat on the mat. You can listen to my voice as you bring your tail up and your head up, looking up, inhale. And then you exhale, draw your chin into your chest and release your spine towards the heavens. Tuck your pelvis in, bring your pelvis towards your ears. Good. Inhaling one more time. Bringing your tail up and your head up. Good. And exhaling, releasing. Coming to flat back. This is the one downward dog we're going to do, and I'll show you how to do it seated in a moment. But if you're a practitioner, I'd like you to curl your hip, your toes under, claw at your fingertips, and push up into a delicious downward dog. You can pedal your feet out, your hips, really stretch through your your clawed hands, your toes. And if you're in a chair and you're wondering what to do, in each week you'll get a little bit better than this, at this each time. You can just bring yourself down, stretch forward. Oh, feel your back really stretching. And if that's too much for you, you can just sit back in your chair, open your heart center, and then release your shoulders down. Good. If you're still in downward dog, come back to your knees. Come back to your knees. And bring your knees wide. Stretch them wide. And then stretch your palms out in front of you. Bring your elbows to the mat and your forehead to the mat. Feel that beautiful stretch in the back. If that's too much, you can always stack your fists or you can come on your back and hug your knees. If you're in a chair, sit back and relax for a few moments of our own reflections. And during this time, I'd like you to think of what it is, the blessings that you need for yourself today and also releasing through your breath what you need to release. Releasing, releasing any fear, anxiety, staying mindful, feeling your feet connecting, your back connecting with your chair, or 
you're in child's pose, feel your hands connecting with the earth and your forehead bowed in humility. <sighs> Releasing, breathing. Open my heart. Open my heart. Continue to ride the waves with your breath. Notice how your body feels. If your neck is stiff, give it a little release. If your shoulders are tight, release them away from your ears. Release your hands and your feet. Breathe. Full, deep river breath. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. Adonai Suri the Goali, my strength, my strength, and my hope. Checking in, how's everyone doing? We're going to move to the end of our service, Alenu. So this is a balance. If you can balance, please do so. Or use your chair for balance. Go to the wall. Use assistance. There's no judgment on the balancing. We're going to do tree pose today. Get a little balance in our lives. So bringing our attention now to our legs, hod, netza, balancing humility with our endurance and feeling that endurance. We didn't do our, our warrior posture today because we're running out of time and I had to skip it, but we'll do it next week. So feeling that strength in both legs, shift your weight over to the right leg and feel your leg as a deep tree root. Feel that energy going down into the earth. Lift your knee and your calf and strengthen it and then bring the left knee out. And you can bring it high if you want to. Or you can just use your chair and bring it high. But don't forget to bring your head over heart, heart over hip. Always want to be in alignment. So if you want to stay here, you can Release your shoulders away from your ears. Find that strength in humility. Also, picture yourself as a tree. What kind of a tree do you want to be? And if you want to bring your arms up to your tree, you can. Having a little jiggly today. And both, both legs down. Good. Coming back to balancing both legs. Now shift your leg and all of your weight into your left leg. Endurance. Feel that endurance sinking down like a deep root into the earth. Lift your calf. Lift your quadriceps, your thigh. When you feel strong and zip up through the center, bring your leg in. You can keep your toe down. You can bring it under your knee or over your knee, but not on your knee. That's no, no. So zip up through the midline, head over heart, heart over hips. Hands in prayer pose or hands up to the kind of tree. It's hard to balance on carpet and a mat. It's always easier to balance on, on a hard surface. So I'm going to do that. Breathing. 
feel a joy coming into your fingertips, energy, like leaves of a tree, getting all of that oxygen from the air and bring your foot down. I love that, that image. Let's bring our hands up again and feel the leaves of our tree gathering oxygen, bringing that oxygen into our heart center. And once more, we're going to hinge down for a forward fold. If you're available to do that, you can do that, or you can do this with your arms, or if you're seated, you can come forward like this, or if you'd like to stand to the side of your chair. There are four ways to do this, okay? So coming all the way down, releasing shoulders, releasing your head, letting go, letting God. Lisne, before the one, the mystery. Letting power, releasing, control, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, rolling shoulders back. Open your heart center, bring your arms up. Inhale, and then zip your arms down to Namaste, or the balance of Chesed, Gavura, and Tisera. Perfect. Everyone's done so well today. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. We have eight minutes left, and in that time, I want to do three things. I want to do a little stretch. We're going to do, um, you can either do this stretch on your mat if you'd like, or you can do it in a chair because it's easily done in a chair. If you're on your mat, I'll show you in a moment what to do. If you're in a chair, I just want you to bring your right foot up and just sort of roll the foot around to the left and to the right. If you're on your mat, come to your back. Sometimes I can't slowly come to your back. And raise your right foot up, roll to the right, roll to the left, okay? And then lower. And if you're in a chair, just lower your right foot down. And then extend your left foot up. Roll to the left, roll to the right. Is within us. We'll do that next time too. So just an easy stretch. Now bring both feet up, rotate out. If you're on the mat, just bring both legs up, grab behind your knees and rotate outward and inward, good. And then drop both feet to the mat. It's a little hard to do this, but keep your left leg on the mat, lift your right leg up and then cross it over your left. If you're seated, it's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna thread your hands through and just stretch out your right hip. and breathing, and then just let it release. And as you're feeling a little tightness in some of these joints, we hold a lot of emotions in our hips and our joints, so we need to let that go. Today is all about releasing. So we've been releasing emotions, we've been releasing some negative thoughts and feelings, and now we're going to release that out of our hips. So same thing on the left side. If you're on the mat, bring both feet down and lift your left leg up and then cross it over your right thread your hands through and then pull through and if you're seated it's a great stretch in the left hip good if you're seated in a chair now, I want you to stretch your legs out to the side, open the groins. If you're on the mat, I would like you to bring your feet together and open your knees in butterfly, and then raise your head, your hand, your arms over your head. Supine butterfly. 
God. I'm going to stay in my chair so I can show you. So you're just stretching open a little bit, breathing, breathing and releasing the air all the way out. Good. If you're on the mat, I want you to bring your right, draw your right knee over to the left. If you're in a chair, bring your knees together and then twist behind. And if you're on the mat, you're going to bring both knees over to the left and twist to the right. You can go whichever way you want. Opening your heart once again, feeling that release of anything you don't need that you're still holding on to. Like you're wringing out a towel, if anything you don't need, wring out your body. And coming to center, inhaling, nice and easy, exhaling, and twist around to the other side. If you're on the mat, bring your knees over to the other side. And then draw your gaze to the opposite side, gentle spinal twist. Good. Coming back to center. If you're on your mat, just gently drop your legs down straight in front of you or rock yourself from side to side, massaging your lower back. And when you're ready, put your legs in front, drop your arms down to the sides. A few moments of savasana take you through a little guided relaxation. So if you have any distractions, just let those go. Swallow in your throat. Feel yourself heavily sinking down into your mat. So it's a thick cotton blanket like a cocoon wrapping you up. If you're in a chair, sink back into your chair. Drop your shoulders. Release your head. Release your neck. Release your hands, release your feet. Mm. Giving a blessing to your feet for allowing you this hour of self-love, renewal today, release. Taking your hands for being able to wash them also bringing God's work into this world as we reach out to those in need. Bringing your heart, feeling the blood rushing through your veins and arteries, saying a blessing for your heart. Nekavim, nekavim, chalulim, chalulim. If one of these openings were to fail, how well we are aware we would not be able to be here today all too aware of that in today's pandemic. So thanking our lungs and our heart. Releasing our belly, feeling the love that we have for ourselves through our organs and our tissues. And arms and legs are very heavy. Shoulders drop. Vinyasa flow. Releasing that water into the river. Feeling the healing release. And if you should need a moment in your day when you get stressed, you can bring yourself back to this moment. This releasing. opening of your heart to balance Chesed, Gavura, humility and endurance. You feel that all the way through your spine. Take a moment now in silence to memorize this feeling.
Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerechem may God bless us and keep us. Ya'er Adonai panave lecha v'yichunecha may God's countenance shine upon us and through us. May the Holy Spirit of the universe bring us and the world the gift of shalom, the gift of peace. And if in every yoga practice we end, if you're on the mat, Please wiggle your hands and toes and gently bring yourself up to sitting. And as with every yoga practice, we bring our hands to our midline or on our heart. We take a moment to honor those whose light has brought us blessing in our lives and the memories of all of those who have departed. The next week we will be engaging in a renewing practice of healing and we'll definitely do Kaddish at a healing circle as well as a few other prayers that we didn't do today. But until then, I offer you my love. Thank you for coming home with Yoga Shalom with me. If we put our thumbs together to our third eye, our seeing and our knowing, and to our teferis, our balance, and we say namaste. I'm going to unmute everyone so that we can just greet each other. Okay, and... Hello, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for being thank you. here. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. And if there's thank anyone. You. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom all. Shalom all. I hear some background noise, so I'm going to have to mute everyone again. I'm sorry. I don't know what that's doing. But um, if there's anyone who would like to stay in chat, Oh, thank you, Tamima. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, the volume is a bit low. You'll need to turn it up in your own computer. Um, if you can do that next time, that would be wonderful because I'm at max capacity here with my little earbuds. But it was so nice to be with everyone. And I'm going to put this practice up on my YouTube channel. So if you want to do it tomorrow, um, you certainly are welcome to do it. I have a daily practice and I recommend that to everyone. It's helping, it's helping. And yeah, the music is not running through my computer and that's really purposefully because I got a lot of feedback that the music was um, distracting. So I'm gonna keep, I'm going to keep that, um, I'm gonna keep that muted for now and do the best we can. But I hope you enjoyed this and I'm learning as I go. So. If you'd like to stay on and chat for a few moments and give me a little feedback, I'd love that. Lisa, do you have a link for your YouTube channel? You can go to YouTube and search Cantor Lisa Levine and you'll be able to find it. But I probably will post it on social media. Hi, Tamira. I'll probably okay, um, post it on social media. And as I said, we didn't get to, this is an hour and 15 minute practice and I talked a lot um, uh, so I'll probably be picking and choosing as we go through the weeks, but I hope that you'll be back next Monday. Um, our theme for next, uh, Monday is renewal, is renewing. So we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, renewal. Hi, Robin. Nice to see you. Good to see everyone. Is it the same, is it the same length next week? Yes, we it'll be an hour, another... it'll be an hour long. Okay. The Zoom link will it be this. Yes, the Zoom link. Will the Zoom will be link the be the same? It's the same. It's okay. always the same. Okay. Rizelle, good to, to see know you, that. darling. Okay. 
How are you? Thanks, everyone, for being here. Looking forward to seeing you next week. And once again, namaste.